<laughs> you got my attention. Wait, so they put this slide up there? Yeah, no, no, they put the overhead. You know what an overhead projector is? They put an overhead. And, you know, and, and uh, Legrand, uh, uh, you know, he comes into the room and he reads it from the back. Goes, what the fuck? You know, and, uh, and of course, then he started running around. Oh, Pena is a fucking, lowered the standards of my high class. And you want to know, low class trailer trash, go to a Legrand seminar. I mean, they're the epitome of. Tra- he says he's one. Well, he is. Yeah, he says, I'm, I'm a redneck. I lived in a trailer with torches. And, uh, and, and if I can make it, you can make it. He's right about that. Yeah. yeah. But that, I think uh, with a lot of what you were saying, Dan, is um, being Mexican, the, the, my mentors that helped me take it up a notch was first was one uh, uh, Caucasian gentleman, and the second one was Ron. Being around him for those two years and traveling with him really changed my. Uh, going on a private jet, helicopters, and seeing the size of deals they were making with no money really opened up my eyes. Well, and I taught him, so, you know, and irrespective of what he says, uh, the, um, he used to have a Texaco gas station. His dad was a carnival barker. He worked in a carnival. You know that? No. Carnival barker. Hey, they come and see the fat lady with a beard. You know, the one that stands outside the big tents. And he used to have a big picture of his dad. Uh, uh, pounding in a, a stake uh, to put up a tent. Anyway, he used to... Uh, um, um, calculate his net worth in terms of quarters that he had at the end of the day. And he'll tell you the truth. Quarters. When I met him. But I've had a lot of his devotees come here. I've had a lot of Bodo the Schaefer's devotees. I mean, uh, I got a lot of these guys that, you know, we wanted to come to, you know, just as I went to the person that trained Dennis Waitley, which was Jim Newman, uh, and I, I agree with that part, but it's what you do with it. Uh, we're, we're not going to, well, we're not going to be flipping any fucking houses, so um, uh, we don't need to know that. We do need to know this. You know, because I demand that you, you're either going to come back with your shield or you're going to come back fucking dead on it. For Shane? Yeah? Okay. I they, mean... They carry the bodies back from battle on the shield. Yeah, on the shield. Yeah, and the mother said, uh, you know, I don't want his head. You know, uh, the real story is they came and they, they, they threw the head down, in, uh, the mom. But anyway, I love Sparta. Be all that you can be. Joe Batten, who was my... Uh, a business partner who came up with, uh, you know, all you can be for the United States Army. Um, great guy. Uh, and that's really one of the formulation, ideas of formulation of, of, of the um, uh, psychology of being a high performer, being all you can be. And, and, and I didn't realize, but in hindsight, when I look back, uh, I was, I, I've always tried to be all I can be. And the, um, I, I wasn't smart enough or didn't know enough that when I say you help a billion people, you make a billion dollars. A billion, I didn't know about a million, uh, believe me. Um, and, uh, but I do know that if you, uh, when you go out there, the kids that have succeeded the most uh, are the ones that, um, that have uh, been really, truly all you can be and, uh, and, and not left very much on the table vis-a-vis their... Um, you're paid in life not to, uh, for what you know, but what uh, you can do or get others to do. I'm successful as a $50 billion man now because I had thousands and thousands and thousands of people that I've gotten to, not me personally, because remember, 99.9% of these guys I've never met. Never, ever met. Uh, but through the programs. And if I had understood correctly, I would have given the program uh, all my stuff away from the 90s. I because I mean well, well maybe not to you but it's chump chain I mean uh, it's no money uh, and uh, I I think I told you I only got put together product because everybody said Ted Nicholas and all you you got to have product Dan why and uh, but I mean you, you guys you know somebody listened to the raising capital tape from the 90s I forget who it was and you say it's all same shit 
And the reason I don't change it, and the guys always say, why don't you change it? Because nothing's changed. The only thing that's changed, we're going to talk about it tomorrow, is crowdfunding. That's the only motherfucking thing that's changed about money, raising money. And I've never done, never done a crowdfunding deal, but crowdfunding is if all the other things fail and ours don't. I used to have a raising capital seminar. Legrand didn't like this seminar. Uh, he attended it. Uh, if you can, and I, uh, we had a money back guarantee. If Hector, you cannot raise the money in six months, I will either do one of two things. This is what I used to say. I will either give you the fucking money or come and raise it for you. There's only one caveat. And it, it was six months in a year. One caveat. You have to give two financial presentations a week only. Two financial presentations a week. So that means in a year, I used to cut you some slack, a hundred. Two times fifty. Because I know you're cunts, you've got to take a couple weeks off. Two. We've never had anybody not raise the money. It's 20 years this month. You could be the first. Two. And that's two, that's two separate, not going to uh, Joe Jones, uh, the senior bank manager, and then the junior bank manager at the same fucking bank. That's not what I mean. Two distinct, different financial institutions. He's going to tell you about, he's, a, he's an expert at this. 21, uh, 25, um, 25. 25 financial institutions? Yeah. And four said yes? Four said yeah, but 21 said no. 21 said no. Then he got good at it. I bet you he's slicker than baby shit now in giving the presentations. I wish I could have been at that first presentation, though. That must have been a thing of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, it doesn't look okay. Uh, oh, this is the nuns praying for me. They tell me, I tell them I can't, uh, I can't read that shit. Uh, I don't, don't stop, though. Don't stop, you know. Those 300 nuns, don't stop. The shit may be working, you know. Uh, emergencies don't check your diary or calendar. Man plans God last. Failure to have whatever. We you know all that. How do you manage? Okay. When you leave here, nobody teaches how to manage failure. Have you ever had a class or a course on how to manage failure? No, I already knew, but I asked it. But now I bet you Wharton's going to start a fucking thing. Now I can't say about that other thing anymore. It pisses me off. You're not gonna, there are no classes on how to manage failure. Because they all presuppose, they tell you it's easy, you're never gonna have failure, it's always gonna be success. And you doofuses wanna believe it so you, you don't ask any questions. Do you intellectually actually believe that 100% of the things that they teach you how to do are gonna be successful? I hope to God not. But I'd ask the question, well what happens when it fucking all goes sideways? Uh, next question, they'll say. You're going to know how to manage the failure. Okay. This is a great video. Uh, we'll play it uh, tomorrow. I don't want to tell it to YouTube. But this is a girl that has no arms. Well, it's, it's pretty obvious. Okay. Jessica Cox suffered a rare uh, birth defect and was born without arms. Um, uh, none of the parental uh, te prenatal tests, excuse me, uh, tests her mother took uh, showed that this, there was anything wrong, and yet she was born with this rare congenital disease, but also with a great spirit. Yeah, the psychology graduate uh, can write, type, drive a car, brush her hair, and talk on the, her phone simply using her feet. Miss Cox from Tucson, Arizona, is also a uh, former dancer, double black belt in Taekwondo. She has no restrictions, driving license, she flies, uh, types 25 words a minute, and she can put her fucking contact lenses in with her feet. Her fucking contact... I can't even put it in with my hands. And I have contact lenses. Famous story, I'm up uh, with the two uh, chairman of Guinness, former chairman of Guinness. I used to buy pubs in Ireland. And uh, these guy and uh, having two former Guinness, chairman of Guinness is a barrel of fun. I mean, you can't have any, you have no idea how much fun we fucking had those, those two old guys. 
And uh, one day, uh, I, th I think I remember getting cataracts, or my dad had, um, what do you call it when you lose the center vision? Mac degeneration or something? Anyway, so I, uh, I got a headache, I can't see right, and so uh, one of his assistants, and they both had good looking assistants, I might add, uh, even though they were former, that was part of their contract when they left, they kept their assistants. Uh, and uh, I had three contacts in one eye. I had slipped one up, up here, and I had, and I had two, and I said, God damn, maybe these contacts aren't for me, you know, fuck, something, something ain't right. Something ain't right. And so the cutie pie is going like this, well, Mr. Pena, I, I think something's wrong here. You got an eye implant or something ain't right. And so then she goes like this, and she takes them out. I can see! I can see! But uh, the, uh, she can put them in with her feet. She can put them in with her feet. Okay, before we go on, any questions? Um, the, who's today at five? Six. Seven. Wait a minute, how can there be two at seven? <laughs> yeah, you got the list there, what does it say? Yeah, it says, uh, oh, she's <laughs> Yeah, so, Peter, Josh, and then Al. Then it's different to what I received in Lima. Okay, no, that's changed, because we thought you were going to be caught in, with drugs. So we didn't think you were going to make it. We didn't think you were going to make it. But it actually has been changed. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, the, and tonight you go out to dinner, uh, uh, right? Tonight? Yeah, 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 tonight you go out to dinner, and I assume, uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure. How, when? Okay, yeah, and um, they'll uh, take you out. Where are you going? No idea. Yeah, okay. Well, there's only, uh, believe me, you don't have a big wide uh, <laughs> uh, list of places. Uh, but, um, and then uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 8 in the morning. I'll see these three. Um, and uh, if there's no questions, YouTubers, go fuck yourself. Thank you. <laughs>